Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Representative C. A. Dutch Ruppersberger who is the representative for the 2nd District of Maryland which is a district just north of Baltimore, bordering on the line with uh, Pennsylvania. Now, he is a Democrat, and before he took office, he was preceded in office by Bob Ehrlich. Now, let's look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Baltimore, Maryland on January the 31st, 1946. Graduated from Baltimore City College in Baltimore, Maryland in 1963. Attended the University of Maryland, College Park, Maryland. Earned a JD from the University of Baltimore School of Law, Baltimore, Maryland in 1970 was a private practice lawyer, the assistant Maryland State's attorney, 1972 to 1980, member of the Baltimore County, Maryland County Council, 1985 to 1994, delegate to the Democratic National Convention, 1996 to 2000, Baltimore, Maryland County Executive, 1994 to 2002, before being elected as a Democrat to the 108th and 10 following Congresses. So he is in term 11, 22 years. Now, let's go ahead and look at the committees he is on. He is on the Committee on Appropriations of which he's on the Subcommittee on Commerce, Justice, Science, and Related Agencies, and the Subcommittee on Defense. Let's look at his top five industry donors over his career. At the top, real estate, who have donated $757,013. Next is Miscellaneous Defense, who have donated 718,149 dollars. Next is Health Professionals, who have donated 688,088 dollars. Next is Lawyers and Law Firms, who have donated $657,728. And fifth is Public Sector Unions, who have donated $514,500. Now, let's look at his top five individual donors and contributors over his career. And this is highly fucking disappointed, but not unexpected. At the top, number one, Northrop Grumman. And they are an American multinational aerospace and defense company with 95,000 employees and an annual revenue in excess of $30 billion. It is one of the world's largest weapons manufacturers and military technology produ providers. In the firm rank number 101 on the 2022 Fortune 500 list of America's largest corporations. And they are based in West Falls Church, Virginia. Altogether, they have donated $222,640. And once again, Northrop Grumman. Now, keep that in mind, because this leads to a pattern here. Next, at number two, we have RTX Corporation, formerly Raytheon. They are an American multinational aerospace and defense conglomerate headquartered in Arlington, Virginia. 
It is one of the largest aerospace and defense manufacturers in the world by revenue and market capitalization, as well as one of the largest providers of intelligence services. In 2023, the company seat in Forbes Global 2000 was 79. RTX manufactures the aircraft engines, avionics, aerostructure, cybersecurity solutions, guided missiles, air defense systems, satellites, and drones. The company is also a large military contractor getting a significant portion of its revenue from the U.S. government. Altogether, it has donated... One hundred and eleven thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, and once again, that's RTX Corporation. Next, at number three, we have L3 Harris Technologies, and they are an American technology company, defense contractor, and information technology services provider that produces command and control systems and products, wireless equipment, tactical radios, avionics and electronic systems, night vision equipment, and both terrestrial and spaceborne antennas for use in the government, defense, and commercial sectors, and it is based in Melbourne, Florida. Altogether, it has donated one hundred and nine thousand seven hundred dollars and once again that's l3 harris technologies next at number four we have lockheed martin an american aerospace and defense manufacturer with worldwide interest it is formed by the merger of the Lockheed Corporation with Martin Marietta in March 1995 and is headquartered in Bethesda, Maryland in the Washington, D.C. area. As of February 2022, Lockheed Martin employs approximately 115,000 employees worldwide, including about 60,000 engineers and scientists. Altogether, it has donated one hundred and three thousand dollars and once again that's Lockheed Martin and finally in fifth can we make it five defense fucking contractors in a row General Dynamics yes we fucking can is an American publicly traded aerospace and defense corporation headquartered in Reston Virginia as of 2020, it, is, it was the fifth largest defense contractor in the world by armed sales and fifth largest in the U.S. by total sales. The company is a Fortune 100 company and was ranked number 94 in 2022. Altogether, it has donated 98 thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and once again that's general dynamics fuck dutch i mean god dang can, can you just say no i don't need your money i am not here to be bought by defense contractors just because i have a high ranking position on defense under the house committee on appropriations where we decide where money fucking goes. Fuck you, Dutch. Fuck you. Let's look at his donors at a glance. Industry-wise, real estate. Uh, miscellaneous defense. Ooh. Health professionals. Uh, lawyers and law firms. Uh. Public sector unions. Absolutely fucking wonderful. Finally, something goddamn decent. Individually. Northrop Gumman. Bo suck. RTX Corporation. Bo suck. L3 Harris Technologies. Oh. Lockheed Martin. Oh. General Dynamics. Bo suck. God damn, dude. 
fucking show. You're more than just a fucking bought off fuckhead for the goddamn defense industry. Anyway, this has been a look at Representative C.A. Dutch Ruppersberger, who represents the defense industry. I mean, the second district of Maryland. As always, you know, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.